now that we have recorded these two cues, you might want to change one of them. This is also possible. Just choose the cue you would like to change and click onto the load cue button. It will then be loaded into the program view again, where you can change the values. Now that I have changed the values, just click onto the save cue button and it will be saved inside of the first cue again. After you have loaded the cue, the cue list will be still in pause mode. Just click onto the play button to go out of the pause mode and play again to play the cue. Now we have two cues inside of this cue list, which are set to a manual control. This means the second cue will only appear if you press the play button. To set the cues to an automatic fade, just double click on a cue and the cue properties window will appear. Inside of the cue properties window you can change the name of the cue, you can set a nested loop and you can change the delay in and the fade in properties. You can also change the delay out and fade out properties, but only if you deactivate the tracking mode, which can be found inside the cue list properties we will see later. For now we would only like to change the control from manual to a wait time. The wait time stands for the time that this cue is visible. So setting it to 4 seconds also includes a 2 second fade in time, which means the cue will fade in for 2 seconds and will then be visible for another 2 seconds on full intensity. Let's try it out. Just press the play button and you will see that the first cue will fade in in 2 seconds, stay another 2 seconds and then the second cue will fade in. You can also change the cue properties for a lot of cues at the same time. By selecting them, right clicking and select all, and then right click again and go to the properties. Now these brackets with the dots inside show that there are different values saved for the cues at this point. Let's set a wait time of 5 seconds for both cues. You can see that the properties of both cues have changed and pressing the play button will simply just fade in the cues in 2 seconds, they will stay for another 3 seconds, fade over and the cue list will run as an infinite loop until we press the stop button.